Hi guys, this video is to explain you a little bit about the functionality of a bicycle disc brake. So I got this replacement for a Walmart Genesis V2100. This is, but this is some kind of standard disc brake so the big disc is on the wheel and here we have the small two discs which are pushing together and make it braking so uh, actually with uh, it, it it looks a little bit complicated at the beginning but it's not uh, complicated at all, uh, at all because we just have uh, very few screws to adjust so what we have first here we have this movable part uh, which where you can attach the cable which goes to your uh, brake which you push by hand so here you have to untighten your sc uh, this screw and push the um, yeah the the cable underneath and then tighten it again Again, I hope you can see that a little bit how this works. Yeah, uh, loosen this, and then there's a gap in between. Put the cable through and tighten it again. So that's very simple. And then, so then you will be able to pull in this direction. Of course, here is standard uh, situation when it's not breaking, and then you pull the handle and then it will work like this so what it does uh, at the end you will see here I put something in the back that you see it more clear uh, I hope you can see when I zoom in a little bit so when I pull you see from one side where the um, where the spring is and the movable part from this side a disc moves from left to the right so I do it once again so left to right okay so and this is the gap where the big disc should come in between so here we also on the right side we have also a small disc plate uh, you can adjust the position of this uh, disc brake uh, by rotating this part but first you have to loosen this screw here you see there's some uh, small herx driver which you need to loosen that and then you can adjust the position of this uh, disc so yeah you make sure that this is in the right position because this part this this uh, brake part of the brake does not move at all so you have to adjust it first the only thing is which does move is from this side okay and to make the good fit that the big disc really fits in between uh, for this reason you have the these two screws one at the bottom and one on the top so here you see um, you have actually yeah here you can see it better one, one at the top and one at the bottom and when they are a little bit loose you can realign this brake I hope you can see that okay so you see you can move it from left to right just loosen these two screws bottom, uh, bottom and top and then you can adjust and when it's correct then uh, uh, tighten it again and I mean when, when, when this is in the middle when the big disc is in the middle 
of this gap then you have to then you can uh, secure these screws so that's it it's not a big deal i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that uh, if you like it give me thumbs thumbs up subscribe and thanks for watching anyway see you next time